beautiful day to two special people. I've met so many wonderful people along this, let's just call the era of the Q or my social media experience. I've had a lot of pitfalls along the way, but that's how you learn. And um, because of all the, this, is, this isn't a game, I found out that I no longer talk to people on the phone and it's unfortunate because well there's so many people I could learn from and stuff but uh, anyway so but I do uh, what is the old-fashioned word when you write letters back and forth correspond yes we correspond I correspond with a few people and um, to two very special ones I'm sending out mail tomorrow and there's so much I want to say, I was like, oh, never? Our times are different right now. And it would be so hard for me to write every single thing I wanted to say in these letters in a way that would be able to, well, let's, you, I hope you enjoy um, me talking with you. <laughs> yes, I wish I could hear you too. Uh, now, uh, to Andrea. Wow, wow, I just, uh, your last letter was so lovely, so lovely, so lovely. And I'm going to be sending you this tomorrow, and uh, I think you might even recognize this. I hope you don't feel like I'm re-gifting. <laughs> You want to hear a funny story? So uh, I opened up your box. I got the box and uh, I had to walk about a mile and a half to get it. And I walked back a mile and a half. I get home. I open it. And uh, so the first thing I did is I go and I go to read your letter. But uh, uh, well, the first thing I see is and I say, I'm like, oh, my goodness. The very first thing I did, I ran to friends and I shared them your wonderful gift. And they, they just, it was, you know, people aren't used to seeing this type of stuff. They think it was me, so they couldn't understand it. And I tell them, no, this is, uh, someone else is sharing these sweets. And they're like, uh, I still don't understand how, why would they do that to you? And then why would you then share these things with us? It's just your gift. And then afterwards I was thinking, I'm like, wait a minute, I didn't even actually read the letter. What if that was intended for something else? And I'm like, oh, I'm so... So then when I read your letter, it's just so nice that, you know, people think like you and I both do. You're so special. You're just so special. And so I hope you don't feel like I'm re-gifting to you. <laughs> um, this is something that you sent many, many correspondents ago. And it's this thing. I don't know if you recognize it. It, uh... It was in a little little stand. You sent me a few things, and this was ah. You see, you recognize it now. You rec recognize that rock and stone. So, if you remember right, this one was extremely shiny and sparkly on the side, but the other side was still rough cut. Yeah. Well, look at it now. Ooh, baby, baby. Huh? So both sides. Or just, they just, when it just, look at this. And then not only that, there is another special little treat to it. Is that when you are outside and you hold it up, you can see through it now. It's transparent. You can actually see through it. Alright, so I hope you don't feel like I've re-gifted something back. That you've given me something and I gave it back, but... I hope you enjoy it. Uh, it comes on and off this little necklace that I made. So if you uh, find something else you want to put it on, don't even worry about that. Or also, your daughter might enjoy this. Maybe she might like this for Christmas. If that's not something, yeah, you'll know what to do with it. Uh, yeah, like I say, how would I be able to say all this stuff in a letter? It's just. It, you're just, uh, Pig is, just loves you so much. <laughs> he just is so, so happy. Yeah. And so you both make me smile. And Rose, Rose actually has, uh, well, like I said, we've talked for years and years now through uh, letters. And she 
has actually commissioned an art piece off me a few years back. And it was the other piece of this wood. You see how this wood was cut off? And this, it's the, hers matches this and these nails. It was the other side. It was the other half of this. And so, Rose, you just, you know, I just, yeah, well, it's so special. Hey, and listen to me, Rose. Uh, you're at the right place at the right time. I don't know what happened with uh, your, your job. But, and these are scary and worrisome times, and I know where you live, and there's absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing to worry about, okay? Everything is, you're right where you're supposed to be, for all the right reasons, okay? And if things are change, you'll, you'll know and act accordingly, okay? So, I'm sending this out to you tomorrow. And you would recognize the stories throughout, if you put all the pieces together, you'll understand. I'm not even going to talk about all the different stories about where this was made and, and stuff. But what I want to tell you about is there's nothing special about this. Put your keys on it and use it as a keychain and use it daily. If that's not something you want to do, you got, you know, light poles, you know, I mean, your, your lights, things that you chink a chink chink a chink Hook it onto something, you know. Put it on something that you'll actually use. You know, if you have a pull on the shutter on your window, put it on there so that you use it. Not just, okay? Actually use it. And then you'll think about it and stuff. And you're at the right place for the right reasons at the right time. Right? Don't, don't worry about anything. We pray. We know. Things have to be. So you're just so special, so special. And I just wanted to say the same thing that, you know, how would I be able to put that in a letter of use it, use it, actually use it. There's no way I made this part and all this stuff and I made all of this stuff and this, it would take years for any of this stuff to wear through. Heavy, years of heavy use. Nothing's going to bend. Everything will just scratch and just add character. Okay? That will not fall off. So use it. Use it. If it becomes too cumbersome then you're for your keys and you can't use it in your purse, like I say, put it and use it someplace else where it'll be... Alright? You'll see all kinds of fun things in it. Like I said, I didn't make any message in it. I didn't do anything like that. There is nothing. It's just for you to remind yourself that you're in America and that people have been here before and people have been here forever. And uh, you're in America. Okay? So we love each. We love America. And that's why I want to talk to you about this stuff is that, you know, it's scary learning the lessons that we're learning right now. Q was here to teach us to learn and we ball we we three met because of Q and we did learn, right? We learned many different things even though we knew some things of this because we, you know, did our own research in the past. We we did learn new things. We got confirmed things that we wish we didn't know, right? And then we've been learning even more things outside of Q that are very difficult to, you know, learn because it's not that we don't like America and all the different type of things that we're learning of the stories that might not be true. <laughs> but it's, not, it's, um, it's even bigger than that, okay? America isn't a land, it isn't a flag, it isn't the politics, it's the idea. Just like the Word of God, it's a, it's a living, the Holy Bible is the living Word of God, and it speaks to you. And you can't compare this to anything else, but there is a similarity to America. It's not a land, it's not a place, it's not a flag. It's what's in a person's heart. And uh, that's what brought us together. And that's what will keep us going forward. So God bless you all.